Yeah, right now, we're, uh, Johnny Rollins is uh, following this uh, FedEx truck that we've been breaking into coverage right now. And when it was heading westbound on 350 in Raytown, police seemed like it had. The lights have not been on these police cars, but they have that truck in sight. Uh, they drew guns when it was stopped at a light, uh, but the FedEx truck, the driver was able to maneuver and get away. So this is a chase that's going on right now through the Brookside neighborhood as it is approaching, I believe, Johnny, uh, state line. Uh, absolutely. In fact, uh, we're just along, uh, we may have just passed uh, Warnell and approaching state line here, getting into uh, the, if they cross state line, of course, into the Mission Hills area. Police still following this vehicle, but that's about as far as it goes. In fact, uh, it will be interesting to see if police, well, I'm sure, if uh, Kansas side doesn't uh, pick them up, that they will continue to follow them onto the Kansas side. Now, back southbound, as we uh, see the truck still not at high speed, still police not right on the driver's tail. Again, the initial report was that perhaps this was a stolen FedEx truck, and uh, we don't know the initial reason for the chase other than perhaps it was reported stolen. Don't know if it was a carjacking type of situation or what, but uh, all we know is that police began to follow it. It was uh, deemed a chase, but right now this anything but a chase as far as what we're accustomed to with high speeds and, and reckless driving. It's more police are just continuing to follow the vehicle as we make our way through these side streets here near 63rd and State Line. Police uh, <clears throat> oh, coming up to Ward Parkway here as well, and police are all up and down Ward Parkway. A lot more police now are responding this in this uh, area. Uh, there's that uh, the Christian church on the corner, and oh, now this is not good. We're going southbound in the northbound lanes of Ward Parkway. Southbound, northbound lanes of Ward Parkway near 63rd Street. You can see the uh, pool there, some of the fountains coming up. We're headed down towards the Meyer Circle. But now this is a different story. Southbound in the northbound lanes and turning around in the median. I believe that is going to be 63rd Street there. And more police on the scene now continuing southbound on Ward Parkway. Numerous police vehicles behind this vehicle, but none really following the vehicle with their lights on. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully we're trying to check with uh, police now and finding out exactly what the reason for holding so far back is. Not arguing with that by any means. Of course, we always have, uh, unfortunately, so many injuries involved in these uh, chases when they attain high speeds and really make uh, uh, very drastic efforts to evade police. So perhaps that's the reason they're holding back and they're just going to let this play out and maybe wait for a more favorable area where they could uh, approach this vehicle or try that pit maneuver, try and get them out of control, spin them around, and take the driver into custody. <clears throat> the uh, speeds so far have not been high at all. And right now it looks like pretty much the speed limit here, 35 or so, going down Ward Parkway southbound. We haven't seen any kind of roadblocks put out. We haven't seen any spike strips. That's not to say they didn't have some out there, but those spike strips, of course, puncture the tires, let the air out, and then, of course, the... Uh, the vehicle becomes very difficult to maneuver, and that's why we've seen on a lot of these chases, we've seen uh, the vehicles end up on the rims and a lot of sparks, but don't see anything of that nature right now at all. Kind of hiding behind the trees, making a right turn here. We're in the uh, <coughs> 6600 block about of Ward Parkway, so I believe this is going to be 66th or 67th Street. By no means a high-speed chase. This is more police following this vehicle. They are on the uh, Kansas side now. Well, not on the Kansas side yet. I'll take that back. We are approaching, approaching state line to Kansas City, Missouri police cars in trail, and we've seen dozens of other cars blocking streets as this uh, FedEx uh, van, this uh, box truck, approaches those. Now we are seeing smoke. They must have gotten some spike strips out because now we're seeing smoke from the rear tires, and now we're seeing those sparks as I talked about before. So... This is usually when we start to see these uh, wind down and uh, hopefully come to an end if this uh, truck becomes totally uh, non-maneuverable, if you will, and obviously with uh, no air in that right rear tire, that is the one we see with sparks, but I think I saw uh, some uh, smoke coming from the other tire as well, the other uh, left rear tire, and if that is the case, soon neither rear tire will be functioning, and of course driving on those rims, very hard for them to... Uh, remain uh, or retain control of the vehicle. <clears throat> Looks like uh, vehicle uh, really slowing now. Uh, police, though, still not approaching. They may just be waiting for their opportunity now that they have the uh, vehicle in distress. 
driver trying to keep it going here, and it just may be a matter of time before they can't continue, although I will have to admit as well that we've seen a lot of these chases where they get on the rims and seem to go forever after that. So uh, this FedEx box truck, this all started near 435 and Eastwood Traffic Way, uh, or near there, that's where we picked up the, uh, the uh, chase, if you will, and it uh, meandered through uh, Raytown, up Raytown Road, Blue Ridge Boulevard for a while, and then on over to uh, uh, 350 Highway, 350 Highway over to Troost, southbound from there. <coughs> Pardon me, we uh, continue on some of these side streets now. I believe we've just crossed in, well, here are more police, more spike strips out. I don't see any shots being fired. It looks like only spike strips going out, trying to hit now those front tires. Once they disable all four tires, then it's a difference. Now it looks like they're trying to go. It looks like uh, the accelerator is on, and this uh, vehicle may be completely disabled. And we'll see if we can bring some more light to it here. Yep, they're not going anywhere now. We're going to slide a little bit to the left. Police getting close. We'll see if we can watch them apprehend uh, this uh, suspect. Now with it in reverse, we're going to see if perhaps they're backing up to ram the police cars, and they are moving. So I think we have both Kansas and Missouri on site. This vehicle appears to be going nowhere, and we're going to get around on the other side and see if we can get a look at what police are doing as far as, uh, as the uh, suspect is concerned. Still in the vehicle, still trying to make it move, and it looks like we're just police with guns drawn, and as you can see, this is still going on. There is the suspect on the ground. Suspect is on the ground. We're going to have to pull back here just for a minute and uh, see if we can turn back around here, get control of the uh, camera. Suspect is on the ground, and police, I believe, do have the suspect in custody now. Yes, police with the suspect in custody. We are in the general vicinity of 72nd and Belinder, I believe, and that is what you're seeing now, police with this suspect in custody, and that is where uh, this has ended. Uh, again, this FedEx truck uh, allegedly stolen. That's all we know so far. Don't know anything about the suspect involved, but uh, it appears as though this is over on the Kansas side, just into Mission Hills. We'll send it back down to you guys. All right, thank you. Johnny Rowland's bringing us this live coverage of a police chase, a very unusual one because uh, the police had originally pulled this uh, truck over, guns drawn, and the truck took off. And now it has been somewhat of a slow speed chase, but there you see they have the suspect now in custody. We'll continue to gather details of just what led to